I often get the question from people abroad, even people at home, what is the government doing and what are people doing for you? And most times I reply with simply saying, well, I've never been the really the type of person to sit down and dwell on what the government is doing for me. But I always kind of ask myself first, it was always raised, what can you do for your government and your people? And that's just the person I am. Today, however, if anyone should ever have that question again of what is the government doing for you? Or what is the people doing for you? Or what have they done for you? I think that question has clearly been answered. I would like to say a special thank you to many people. I have so many people in this world to thank you for being who I am. But I want to gear it towards the old man they think field and to people of the community who contributed along the way. Especially people like Miss Tracy E. Banks, who spearheaded the Northeast basketball team. When in this district we didn't have a basketball hoop team to play with. She did that back in 1999, donating it, donating jerseys, even rides in the old Broke Four Taurus. I never forgot that. Initiatives like this gave me and other guys from the community our first chance, first chance to compete against some of the best basketball teams in Ireland. As a matter of fact, I still got my Northeast jerseys at home, somewhere about. <laughs> Though, though I only scored six points in my entire basketball career, I know this is Brian Shane. It is these small steps which can bring about constructive opportunities for the future, the young children of this nation. I would also like to give a special thank you to Coach Gil Seymour from the Cayman Islands football, who through his years of work came to Northside on a recruiting kind of initiative, looking for football players. And though it was back in 1999, he tried to transform me into an avid football player and a goalkeeper. It's quite evident that things didn't work out that way in that particular sport. But what it did do was to lay down some of the sporting disciplines that have carried on in my life and eventually, and eventually led me to my calling, which was track and field. So Mr. Bill Watts, for those who don't know who Bill Watts was, he was the leader of community, spearheader of the boys brigade back in the mid to late 90s. He created several sporting opportunities, such as the famous bikeathon, when you simply took a bunch of boys off the road and actually created a sporting competition with an initiative to win, an initiative to become something better. I would like to thank him. May his soul rest in peace. To guys like up and comers like Joanne Evans, who continues to contribute to the Northside community with football camps and to helping out with the football camps, and to all others who assist in those, I would like to thank you all. This is especially dedicated or I would say pointed out to the younger children, me and the Honorable Mr. Ezra Miller spoke about this when I learned about the steel naming ceremony actually you know, officially about to take place. He asked me to say something towards the younger generations of this nation and of this district. And for a long time I sat down and said, well, I could go on for days about what that could be. And I finally got it to a point where I condensed it down into a short, but I think it should be a powerful statement. If my life, if my career has served as an example of anything, it is to show that we as the District of Northside, more importantly, we as Caymanians, have always and still possess the skills, the knowledge and know-how to do any and every task, whether sports, or otherwise, as good as, and if not, better than our international competitors, counterparts. Let us never forget that. 
tonight or ever. <laughs> Though the name of this facility will be changed after today, I do pray that the purpose of it remains the same. The purpose is to better the lives, careers, and ultimately to unify our fellow man through the vehicle of which is sport. Thank you to all past and present government staff and all ministers that have been a part of my life, which helped me to strive and to push on through hard and difficult times. You guys have never turned your back on me and I commend you for all of your efforts. But I would also like to thank the government staffs that sometimes don't get recognized. The guys who strive to, to maintain such facilities as the playing field. Many that came before us have bared untold sacrifices. Some of, those, some of those sacrifices ultimately cost them their chance. I'm speaking to the older generation of ever pursuing a sporting career. Who knows how many more Olympians they would have been except on the force of this district had we had the opportunity we have today. I've heard that story many times out of many people's, out of, from out of their hearts and then through the, out of their mouths. But we, the present generation, and especially the younger and upcoming generations, have not just the opportunity that they didn't have, but we ultimately have a responsibility to make sure that that momentum continues in order for the future generations that will precede us all have the same and ample opportunities that we have today. <laughs> to the young men and women present here today, you all have a very promising future with much on top and infinite potential. This world is a very big place with many roads to travel. Some good, some easy, of course, fitting just like my life, some filled with many obstacles in and along the way. But no matter what path you should choose in your life, make it be a life worth living. Strive to live a life based on the pleasure of purpose, not on the purpose of pleasure. Focus on your studies and educate yourselves to have a better future especially to the parents of those younger children here tonight. Please never forget that a great education starts with inside the home.